We'll explore the climate in India, which plays a significant role in shaping our daily weather experiences. Think of it as the personality of the atmosphere in our country. But first, what is climate? It is like the long-term personality of the weather. It's not just about what's happening today or tomorrow. It's about patterns that we see over many years, like why it's hot in May or why we need warm clothes in December. However, just like we have different moods, the weather has different seasons. We divide the year into seasons like winter, summer, and rainy seasons based on what's happening with the weather. India has a unique climate known as the monsoon type. It's like a special weather character we have. It's found in the south and southeast parts of Asia. However, even in India, different regions can have slightly different weather personalities. There are huge temperature differences. Imagine some places in Rajasthan get as hot as 50 degrees C in the summer. That's like the weather's way of showing it's on fire. But if you go to Yamu and Kashmir, it can be as cold as negative 45 degrees Celsius in winter. That's like the weather feeling icy. On the other hand, in places like Karela, it's nice and warm all year round. How is rainfall variety? Rainfall is like nature's way of sprinkling water. In India, it varies a lot. In some places, it mainly rains during a specific season, while in others, it can rain in different months. Some regions get a lot of rain, like Meghalaya, while others get very little, like Ladakh. The type of precipitation, rain or snow, also changes in different parts of India. How does climate affect people? Please check out our playlist which covers the entire book. Subscribe to never miss any episode. These climate differences affect the way people live in different parts of India. It affects what they eat, the clothes they wear, and even the type of houses they build. People in coastal areas have a different lifestyle compared to those living in the interior parts of the country. So, understanding the climate in India is like getting to know the country's unique weather personality. It's like learning about a friend's moods, and it helps us adapt to the different weather patterns in our amazing country. Let's talk about climate controls and factors affecting India's climate. Have you ever pondered the reasons behind varying climates in different regions in India? It's all thanks to some fundamental factors that act as the directors of Earth's weather. These key weather rules determine the climate of a place, shaping the atmospheric conditions that prevail. Latitude. This factor hinges on a location's distance from the equator. The closer you are to the equator, the warmer it tends to be. Conversely, moving away from the equator towards the poles results in colder climates. Altitude. The elevation above sea level plays a pivotal role. Higher altitudes typically experience cooler conditions, which means hilltops can offer respite from summer heat. Pressure and winds. The distribution of air pressure and wind patterns depends on a place's position on Earth. Locations near the equator experience different winds than those closer to the poles, directly impacting temperature and rainfall. Distance from the sea. Proximity to the sea functions as a climate moderator. Coastal regions tend to have milder, less extreme weather compared to areas farther inland. Ocean currents. Warm or cold ocean currents can significantly influence local weather. When winds pass over the sea, they absorb the ocean's temperature. Therefore, the presence of warm or cold currents can lead to warmer or cooler conditions. Relief features. Mountains act as formidable barriers that can obstruct winds and influence precipitation patterns. They may also shield an area from hot or cold air masses. However, on the opposite side of a mountain, it might experience arid conditions. Understanding seasons in India is like unveiling nature's moods. India experiences four distinct seasons, each characterized by varying weather and temperatures. The cold weather season, winter, commences in mid-November and extends until February. The coldest months are December and January, with temperatures decreasing from south to north. In the northern plains, the temperature can plummet to as low as 10 degrees C to 15 degrees C, and frost and snowfall are common occurrences. During this season, dry northeast trade winds prevail across most of India, except in Tamil Nadu, where winds bring occasional rainfall. Next is the hot weather season, or summer. It prevails from March to May and is marked by rising temperatures. 
Northern India experienced strong and scorching Lu winds during this period, which can be perilous. Dust storms and thunderstorms with hail are frequent. The pre-monsoon showers in Karela and Karnatak are referred to as mango showers and play a crucial role in the early ripening of mangoes. Next is advancing monsoon, or the rainy season. The arrival of the southwest monsoon winds characterizes the advancing monsoon, typically occurring in early June. These winds bring copious rainfall to regions such as the windward side of the Western Ghats, the Deccan Plateau, and parts of Madhya Pradesh. The northeastern part of India receives the highest average rainfall globally. However, rainfall diminishes from east to west across the Ganga Valley, Rajasthan, and parts of Gujarat. Do like and share the video with your rival. You are as big as your competition. And then the retreating or post-monsoons, also known as the transition season. The transition from the rainy season to dry winter conditions occurs during October and November. Clear skies and increasing temperatures define this transitional phase. Additionally, cyclonic depressions may bring substantial rainfall, particularly in regions near the Bay of Bengal. However, the distribution of rainfall is not even. Rainfall across India is incredibly diverse, with substantial variations in different regions, western coast and northeastern India. These areas receive abundant rainfall, often exceeding 400 centimeters annually. But how can rainfall be measured in centimeters, cm, to understand how much rain falls? Imagine you have a big, flat bucket without a lid. When it rains, this bucket catches the raindrops. After the rain, we check how deep the water is in the bucket and that depth tells us how much rainfall we had in centimeters. So, if the water in the bucket is five centimeters deep, that means there was five centimeters of rain. It's like measuring how deep the water would be if it didn't evaporate or run away. This helps us keep track of how much rain our area gets. Next is Western Rajasthan and adjoining parts. Western Rajasthan, along with parts of Gujarat, Haryana, and Punjab, experiences meager rainfall, often less than 60 centimeters. Interior Deccan Plateau and Eastern Sahyadris. These regions also encounter limited precipitation. Leh in Jammu and Kashmir. The Leh region receives minimal rainfall. Rest of the country, the remaining parts of India generally enjoy moderate rainfall. However, snowfall is primarily confined to the Himalayan region. Due to the nature of monsoons, annual rainfall exhibits significant variability from year to year. Regions with low rainfall, such as parts of Rajasthan, Gujarat, and the leeward side of the Western Ghats, face drought-prone conditions, while areas with high rainfall are susceptible to flooding. Why is it important to understand the monsoon? India experiences a unique climate influenced by the monsoon winds. The southwest monsoon, which brings rain, and the northeast trade winds during the cold weather season are essential parts of India's climatic rhythm. The arrival of the monsoon, with its wet and dry spells, shapes the lives of people and the agricultural calendar. It also causes temperature variations and influences the entire Indian landscape. The Indian subcontinent eagerly awaits the arrival of the monsoon, which acts as a unifying bond by providing the water needed for agriculture and uniting the entire country around the monsoon's rhythm. Please subscribe for more such short summaries of entire chapters.